Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this satisfying loop in Blender. So let's get started. Add a plane and go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the group input and add a cube. And let's also add an extrude mesh node. Connect the mesh to the mesh and Alt Shift click on the extrude mesh node. Set the vertices here to 30. Add a Voronoi texture. And let's also add a wave texture and take the distance here and plug it into the vector. Set it from F1 to distance to edge. Set the scale to minus 0.5. Set the wave texture from X to diagonal. Let's also set the scale to 1 and plug the color into the offset scale. Let's also add a map range node and put that here and set the from maximum to 1.5. To animate this, let's add a vector rotate node and put that here. Plug the vector into the vector, add a position node and plug the position into the vector. Go here and open the timeline and make sure you're on frame 1. I'm going to set the end frame to 100. Now let's keyframe the angle and go to frame 101 and set it to 360 and keyframe it again. Make sure that the plane and the node are selected and here press A and T and select linear. Add a set shade smooth node. And let's also add a set material node. Go to the material properties, click on new and select the material here. Now let's save, add a subdivision surface node and set the level to 3 or 4. I'm going to set it to 4. This is going to take a second. Set the edge crease to 0.5. Save again and go to shading. I'm going to use cycles for this, but you can also use EV. You can find a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. In the render properties, set the max simplest to 256. Under film, make it transparent. If you want, you can go to color management and set the field transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. It is important that you set this back to standard and none later when we are compiling the images in the video editor. Now let's make this metallic and let's add a noise texture. Put that here and plug the factor into the normal. With the noise texture selected, press Ctrl T. Set the scale to 1000 and the detail to 15. Now add a bump node and let's use the height and set the strength to 0.025. I'm going to make the color red. Save again and go back to layout mode. With the plane selected, press delete on the numpad and 1. And now 6 3 times and 8 twice. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set it twice. These are the coordinates that I'm using. Add an empty plane axis and press G and Z and move it up by 0.5. Now press G, Shift Z and put it here. Select the camera and go to the object data properties. Enable depth of field and select the empty here. Set the f-step to 0.3 and the blades to 16. Save again and go to compositing. Enable use nodes. If you're using cycles, enable denoising data and add a denoise node. Add a mix node. You can do that in Eevee as well. Let's also add a texture node and let's plug the color into the image here. Set the factor to 0 0.03. In the texture properties, click on new and select clouds here and set the size to 0. Now select the texture here. In the output properties, I'm going to set the frame rate to 30. Now let's select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. If you want, you can go to render and enable lock interface to speed up the render. If you're using cycles, you can also go to performance and enable persistent data. Just be careful with this because it can use a lot of memory. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Set the view transform back to standard and the look to none. Set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Go to frame 1, hit shift A, image sequence and go to the folder where you have the images, press A and enter. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.